All right, double pamphlet. That's what this is the video for. Okay, so this one you're going to need two of the sections that we created because this is a double pamphlet. It's a thicker book, and we're going to sew two plant pa two pamphlets together. So we're going to start. We're also going to use that five hole sewing again. So we're going to use that five hole jig again. So just hold on to that one. We're going to use that same one. So we're going to start with our strip of paper that's going to be our cover and we're going to fold this in half just like we did for the five hole standard pamphlet. But for this one it's a little different because we're going to fold it and then we're going to leave it folded. So do your fold. You're going to fold the short edges together and then make your fold. And then you're going to leave this folded. Okay, so then what we're going to do is it's kind of similar to the wrapper cover. We're going to fold a little strip at the end here, approximately three quarters of an inch at the most, maybe a half inch. I feel like three, let's do three quarters because the first time you make this book, it can get a little awkward. So we want to have enough kind of meat of the of the cover to hold it in place. So we'll do three quarters of an inch. And I'm just using my mat again to determine that. You could also kind of just eyeball it because as long as it's straight, you're good. And you can use your triangle here or you can just crimp one edge and then fold it. I like to score because I feel like it's going to be straighter if I do it that way. So I'm just going to score that but I've definitely just done that freehand as well. Just make it straight when you're folding like this. Just make sure that these edges are straight when you fold them. That's the only trick. Okay. All right, so you're gonna fold that. Now this is now the center of the book and we're gonna, we're gonna punch through this. This is gonna be the spine and then we're gonna wrap the covers in either direction. So. Whenever you're going to, if you were going to make an addition with this double pamphlet, you really need to understand that one of the folios gets inverted. So again, we're making a blank book, so it, it's not as important to understand right now. But if you were trying to make this book <coughs> with content, you would definitely want to think about how to sew this and how to fold your folios and how to put it together. So one of these folios, not folios, sorry, sections, is going to go into that fold. So that one, that little flap that we made right here, that one's going to go in like that. So then the other one is going to wrap around. So you're going to open that up and it's going to wrap around the whole thing like that. So that's what it's going to look like. You can see right there. So you've got one nestled inside that little short fold and then one section wrapped around the outside like that over that fold. And then we're going to open to the center of that first one and punch through everything. So we're going to be punching through the center, the cover, and the other folio in the back. Okay, so make that little sandwich. And so if you think about this, this is the center of the book. So this would be the front of the next, like if this were the end of that section, this is going to be the beginning, but it's on there inverted, if that makes sense. And it will make sense once you've made one, you would really under, you'll understand better what I'm saying because there's no content that really confuses the situation. But I just want you to be aware that if you decide to make this book, whether it's for this project or for the future, that is a confusion that can happen and you would really want to be conscious of that. Okay, so we've got that center folio, we've got the little flap in the middle and we've got that outer folio and that's what we're going to punch all the way through. So I'm going to turn it so that I can get a handle on that and then I've got my little five hole jig. I'm going to slide that into place. So now it's like, okay, here we go, guys. We've got to punch through all this stuff. Now I'm going to take a second and just kind of squeeze and make sure that everything is lined up as well as I can get it, head and tail. Make sure nothing's sticking out all crazy at the top of the bottom. And I'm just trying to make sure everything's back, back, back into the fold, into the fold. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna start punching. And I'm gonna just, my main goal is to make sure I pierce through that last folio. So I'm gonna have to really give it some pressure, but don't, you know, don't freak out. Just be like determined and conscious of what you're doing and be firm. So I punched that first hole and I kind of can't look at what I'm doing. I just kind of have to hope and I'm doing it by feel and I want to want to be able to feel a little bit of the mat. So there's the third one. And these two at the end are the hard ones because it's almost like I have to flip my hold to the other side and yet still hold this in place. Check. I think I got it. Here's where I'm going to have my needle kind of handy, ready to go, so that I can work it in there and open up those holes now. So that I can hold it in place, take my needle, and just kind of jiggle it through and make sure everything's lined up. And then these two at the end. Those were the ones I felt like I maybe didn't get through all the way and if i didn't if i feel like i didn't i could still because i'm still holding this thing i could take my all and just kind of again gently gently I'm, it's almost like i'm like turning it just and not pushing real hard just kind of turning it a little bit and pushing but not hard but just to make sure i'm going to do it at the very end here just turning gently and pushing but just gentle gentle so i won't you know, like lose control of that. And don't forget, these are mock-ups. You know, it's, if you tear something, if something happens, you know, it's a mock-up. You know, this is what, this is the learning process. This is what you have to do. Okay, so now I do have to gently set this down and I need two and a half times the height of the book. For this one, because I'm, the sewing is gonna kind of show through at the cover when we open this back i want to use a lighter thread so i'm going to use my white thread so i'm going to do two and a half times the height and i just need to be able to see the height and that this is the height of the book so i'm just going to pull out two and a half and i'm rough rough doing it like an inch or at least a half inch head and tail past that point so one grab it where i stopped two and a half My needle and for this one to sew really doesn't matter which side you do it on because for this structure the stitching is going to be either on one side or the other it's going to be inside one of these two folios or one of these two sections i don't know why i keep saying folios right now it's getting late getting late in the day so i usually start on the inside i don't know why uh it just, I don't know, I guess because it's down, it's a valley and it just feels like I, I think I can go in there better than I can go this way. But you can start out here if that feels more comfortable to you. So I'm gonna start on the inside and now we're gonna sew it just like we did the other one. So I come through the center and I'm sewing through everything. Now I'm gonna hold that tail. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the next hole. You know, it's a little tough going through all that stuff and pulling the thickness of the thread through. Come on. It can get a little bit messy. So just don't panic. My needle kind of slid, so I'm going to pull that. All right, so I've just done one stitch. From the center out and around to the next hole, and I'm going to come out the end. Just making, giving a little tug so I know everything's taut as I'm sewing. So take a second and check. Make sure you're sewing it taut. And I'm gonna go back in that hole. Okay, now I'm in the middle here. Tempted to go in the center, because that's it seems like that should be right, but it isn't. You're gonna go all the way across the center here, down to the second to last hole here. So you're just crossing, don't go in the center hole. That's, that's what you need to know. 
with a little tug, gentle tug, and then that last hole. This is when I can kind of let go of that center thread. I can let go of that. and then out the last hole like that. There's only one place to go because that's not sewn. And then out through the center, that last hole. And now I'm back where I started and I want my needle to come out if possible on the other side. If it doesn't, just tuck it under with the needle, no big deal. And I can take my thread, my needle off the thread, and then I'm going to tie my knot, just like I've done. Left over right. And right over left. And that's it. So now you've got your sewing done. Now you just have to finish the cover. So we did the difficult part. So now, what we've got to do is open this thing up. So now what you need to know is that little center fold that we made, that first fold, that is the middle of the book. So knowing that, I have to close this section. And that one's already closed because that's the one that was on the inside. This is the one that we just sewed around the back like this. Now I have to invert that one. And now I have to open the cover at the same time. Because if you see, this is the center of the book. This is my front and back cover. So it's like I'm closing this folio, but I'm also wrapping that cover around. And then I just take everything. This might take a little bit of finagling. You're going to, you want that center to be nice and look like a sharp separation between the two. So I'm just taking my fingers. I'm holding the center piece. And I'm just kind of pushing that open. And then there's my two fold, two uh, <laughs> sections. I don't know what's happened. It's after three o'clock, I guess. I don't know. And this around that. And that's your double pamphlet. So now you can see, that's why I wanted to use that white threads because you can kind of see the thread where it pops through right there. So that's really cool. Like if you have like a color, like a red thread or yellow. And if you're ever interested in that, just let me know. I could, I can even just put that on our Canvas site as something that you might want to purchase at some other time. But they have nice linen thread like this. This is the same brand and it comes in a lot of colors. Okay, so then we've got to do our covers and we're going to do them just like we did with that first uh, pamphlet. This one, just that gatefold. We're going to do that again. So now you can see, now look, here's one of the little problems with this structure is that because there's so much paper getting wrapped around, it starts to do a little funny thing here with um, the little points. But you could, if you were going to do this book, you could even think about, okay, that's going to happen. So I could plan that into my design and then just trim this. You know, you could plan to like put it into a, a trimmer and cut that flesh, you know, if you were really hating on that. I don't know. I don't mind it. I'm okay with the, the edge not being flush. These are handmade books. They're not machine made. Okay, so then I'm going to close that text block like we did. I can hear my dog complaining about whatever. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put my ruler underneath just like I've done. She's like wanting to join in the conversation, I guess. Ellie. <laughs> All right. So I'm doing that thing where I just let, let the metal barely show out there. I kind of want to back it up a little bit because there's a lot, a little more maybe than I want. And then I'm going to score. And I'm going to do that same thing where I then open the book and find that edge, make sure it's straight, and then do my little trimming here at the spine. 
laying the spine on a line and then measuring over a quarter inch. Make a tick mark and I'm gonna trim that off. So you can see I don't have as much to trim off here because of that wraparound and because we added that three quarter inch piece in the center. So it subtracts a little bit from the cover, that's fine. A little bit shaky right there. If that happens and you don't, feels like it's crooked, just straighten it up. You still got time because you used the finger pressure and not bone folder yet. <laughs> and then you're going to do the other side just the same that we did before, where you stick the metal, roll it underneath. Again, I'm kind of, I don't want to see much of that because I really want it to be straight down underneath. Make my crease. Make my fold. And then make my trim. And that's it. Now you've got your double pamphlet. So you can, you know, you can use a different kind of cover paper. Um, and you could just cut it flush instead of doing that folded edge. I've definitely seen that on any of these pamphlets. Um, but I, I kind of prefer that folded edge. I think that looks nice. And you know, that's just my preference, especially with like a pastel weight paper that's not super thick. I kind of like having a little bit of a folded edge instead. So that's the double pamphlet. There you go. That's the third in the set of four. This is what we have so far. These three. Got one more to do with that decorative stitching. All right. Thanks.